हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर पार्थ ठक्कर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एल एम टी डी मैथड फॉर काउंटर फ्लो हिट एक्सचेंजर वी ऑनली नीड थ्री इक्वेशन टू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ काउंटर फ्लो हिट एक्सचेंजर बाय एल एम टी डी मैथड और फर्स्ट इक्वेशन इज एनर्जी बैलेंस इक्वेशन विच इज क्यू इज इक्वल टू एम सी डेल्टा टी फॉर हॉट फ्लूड एम एच सी पी एच टी एच वन माइनस टी एच टू बिकॉज टी एच वन इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन टी एच टू एंड फॉर कोल्ड फ्लूड एम सी सी पी सी टी सी टू माइनस टी सी वन बिकॉज टी सी टू आउटलेट टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोल्ड फ्लूड वुड बी हायर एज कम्पेयर टू इनलेट टेम्परेचर ऑफ कोल्ड फ्लूड सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज फ्रॉम दी थियरी एनालिसिस ऑफ हिट एक्सचेंजर दैट हिट ट्रांसफर रेट फॉर एनी हिट एक्सचेंजर इज इक्वल टू यू एट हिट आई यू इट्स अवर ओवरऑल हिट ट्रांसफर कॉफिशियंट ए विच इज सरफेस एरिया ऑफ हिट एक्सचेंजर एंड हिट आई एम इज अल एम टी डी लॉगरिजमिक मेन टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस ऑफ हिट एक्सचेंजर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फॉर दी काउंट हाउ टू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ काउंटर फ्लो हिट एक्सचेंजर बेस्ड ऑन एल एम टी डी इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ पैरल फ्लो कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो इन काउंटर फ्लो हिट एक्सचेंजर वी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फिग्रेशन फॉर द हीट एक्सचेंजर so what is the difference in parallel and counter here in parallel both inlet inlet of hot fluid and inlet of cold fluid are from the same point so the theta 1 would be th1 minus tc1 and the theta 2 would be th2 minus tc2 so the direction of both hot fluid and cold fluid is the same in parallel flow heat exchanger but in counter flow heat exchanger the direction of fluid flowing of the both fluid are in opposite direction we can see that from this figure that hot fluid is flowing from in, from left to right and uh, the cold fluid is flowing from right right to left so the inlet point of cold fluid is here tc1 and inlet point of the hot fluid is here th1 so in counter flow configuration theta1 would be th1 minus tc2 here we can see that theta1 is th1 minus tc2 and theta2 is th2 minus tc2 so this is the difference between parallel flow and counter flow which we have to consider while solving the numerical so let's start our numerical which is based on counter flow configuration this is our first numerical in counter flow heat double pipe heat exchanger so here already mentioned that our heat exchanger is counter flow configuration water is heated from 25 to 65 so here the temperature is increasing so our water is Or water is our cold flow, so TC1 would be 25 and TC2 would be 65 degrees Celsius. By oil, so our oil is our hot fluid with specific heat of 1.45. So this 1.45 value is of specific heat of oil. It means hot fluid CPH is equal to 1.45 kilojoule per kg Kelvin, and mass flow rate 0.4 0.9 kg per second. So this mass flow rate belongs to oil. So this is mass flow rate of hot fluid so mh is 0.9 kg per second the oil is cooled from 230 to 160 degree celsius so this is our th1 and th2 our th1 is 230 degree celsius and our th2 is 160 degree celsius so th1 is 230 degree celsius and th2 you can see is a 160 degree celsius if overall heat transfer coefficient is 420 watt per meter squared degree celsius so it is our value of u u is equal to 420 watt per meter squared degree celsius calculate the following we need to find out three things here first is the heat transfer rate so q second the mass flow rate of water which is not given in the equation so m of c and the last one is surface area of the heat exchanger it means capital a so let's start with the first unknown which is q we can easily find out the value of heat transfer rate by either mh cph th1 minus th2 or mccpc tc2 minus tc1 but here we can see that uh, the mass flow rate of cold fluid is unknown so we cannot use mccpc tc2 minus tc1 but we know that a value of mh cph and th1 and th2 so we can find out value of heat transfer rate q by using mh cph th1 minus th2 so putting the value of this all we can get the, we can easily find out the value of heat transfer rate q as 91.35 kilowatt as our 1.45 is in kilojoule per kg kelvin so the our answer is in kilojoule per second so we can write as a kilowatt now we need to find out mass flow rate of cold fluid so we can find out mass flow rate of cold fluid easily by comparing this equation q is equal to mccpc tc2 minus tc1 now we know the value of q so putting value of q 91.35 m of c we need to find out cpc 
CPC is a specific heat of cold fluid. Our cold fluid is water. So, what is the value of specific heat of water is 4.186. Some it is. Uh, it's not compulsory that the value of CPC is always given in question. Sometimes it's not given, so we need to remember the value of specific heat of water 4.186 kilojoule per kg Kevlin. Now TC2 minus TC1. The both temperature is given in the question. So by putting the value of all this CPC, TC2, TC1 and Q, we can easily find out value of mass flow rate of cold fluid, which is 0.54 kg per second. Now the third thing we need to find out area. So to find out the value of area we need to use this equation in this equation we know the value of q we know the value of u which is already given in the question so we need to find out value of theta m to find out the value of area a so our a would be q by u theta m so for the theta m we know that for counter flow heat exchanger theta 1 would be th1 minus tc2 we know the value of all the four temperatures so we can easily find out theta 1 and theta 2 and by putting this theta 1 and theta 2 in this theta m equation lmtd equation we can easily find out value of theta m which is 149.49 so by putting this theta m here u is already given in question q from here we can easily find out the value of surface area of the heat exchanger which would be 1.45 meter square so this is how we can solve the numerical based on lmtd of counter flow heat exchanger by only using three equations let's move to the one another numerical a counter flow shell and tube type heat exchanger is used to heat water at rate of 0.8 kg per second so here it is mentioned as this heat exchanger is counter flow heat exchanger it is used to heat water at rate of 0.8 kg per second from 30 degree celsius to 80 degree celsius so we we can easily identify this that our water is our cold fluid so this is our tc1 and this is our tc2 so the mass flow rate which is given is of cold fluid so m of c is 0.8 kg per second with hot oil so hot oil is our uh, hot fluid entering at 120 and leaving at 85 so it is th1 and th2 120 and 85 overall heat transfer coefficient it means u is given 125 watt per meter square kelvin calculate the size of heat exchanger required so that we need to find out the area take the cp specific heat of water as 4180 joule per kg kelvin or 4.186 kilo joule per kg kelvin whatever you want to take so first we need to find so to find out the value of area we need value of q and value of theta m so to find out heat transfer rate uh, we have m of c and cpc so we can use mc cpc tc2 minus tc1 and by putting all this value we can easily find out heat transfer rate which is 167.4 kilowatt now we need to find out value of theta m so for counter flow configuration here all the four temperatures are known to us so we can easily find out theta 1 as th1 minus tc2 and theta 2 th2 minus tc1 by putting value of all the four temperature we can easily find out theta 1 and theta 2 and by putting this theta 1 and theta 2 in this equation of lmtd we can find out theta m is a 47.10 now we know that q is equal to u a theta m so here we have value of theta m q from this equation u is already given in the question so the unknown area would be 28.43 meters square so this is this is two simple numerical which is based on lmtd method of for counter flow heat exchanger only three equations which are required to solve this type of numerical is energy balance equation then second heat transfer rate by lmtd and theta m theta 1 minus theta 2 ln theta 1 by theta 2 for counter flow configuration we have to consider theta 1 as th1 minus tc2 and theta 2 as th2 minus tc1 so this is for today's lecture thank you so much